welcome to Virology Research Services, where we decode science and provide innovative solutions. Today, we're uncovering a virus that, while not as famous as the flu virus or SARS-CoV-2, is one you've likely encountered before. It's called Human Metapneuma Virus, or HMPV. Identified in 2001 by Dutch scientists, HMPV was isolated from children with unexplained respiratory illnesses. This virus, part of the Pneumoviridae family, has been circulating among us for over 50 years. It shares many characteristics with its notorious relative, the respiratory syncytial virus, or RSV. HMPV typically circulates during the late winter to early spring, and it's known for causing yearly outbreaks. It affects both the upper and lower respiratory tracts, causing symptoms that range from a runny nose and cough to severe conditions like bronchiolitis and pneumonia. Most at risk? Young children, the elderly, and those with compromised immune systems. Human metapneumovirus spreads through coughs, sneezes, and close personal contact, similar to how you'd catch a cold. There's no vaccine for HMPV yet, despite ongoing research. Early vaccine trials showed unexpected complications, reminding us of the challenges faced during the development of vaccines for similar viruses in the past. How do we fight HMPV the same way we tackled the spread of COVID-19? Frequent hand washing, keeping unwashed hands away from our faces, and staying away from others when we're sick. Treatment for HMPV is mostly supportive, focusing on relieving symptoms. In severe cases, especially among infants, hospitalization and even mechanical ventilation might be necessary. In the lab, HMPV is a tricky virus to study. It grows slowly, struggles with adapting to cell cultures, and has the potential for mutation. But at Virology Research Services, we're pushing science forward. Interested in how we do it? Our next video will explore air-liquid interface cultures, a three-dimensional model of human airway cells that replicates the epithelial lining of the respiratory tract. This more physiological model allows us to closely study the functions of the respiratory epithelium and its interactions with pathogens, providing critical insights into disease mechanisms. We've taken a close look at HMPV, but there's always more to learn. We're a team of scientists at a contract research organization that specializes in virus research, including HMPV. If you're into virology and enjoyed this video, follow our channel for more straightforward science content.